I wanted to go through the cases. I wanted to make sure you understood where we, you know, where we stand on that. <clears throat> and now what I want to do is just work a ton of problems because the only way you really get good at this is problems. So let's go ahead and do that. What if we had 7 minus 3? That's first grade math. 7 minus 3 is 4, right? Now what if we had 3 minus 7? 3 minus 7. So this is something from this case. We talked about it positive minus positive. We just do the subtraction. We're going to get 4. But since the first number is smaller, we have to stick a negative out front. Because we're starting at 3 and we're going left 7, so we're going on the other side of 0. And that's the, really the reason graphically. What if we had 5 minus 1? Well, you know 5 minus 1 is 4. What if we had 1 minus 5? Well, it's the same thing. We're subtracting them, so we still put a 4, but we have to stick a negative on there because we're subtracting and the first number is actually smaller. So you'll see a pattern to my problems here. 8 minus 7 is 1, and 7 minus 8 is negative 1. Same exact thing. I'm just doing a bunch of these so you'll see. 12 minus 4 uh, is 8, and 4 minus 12 is negative 8. So we still do the subtraction, we just have to stick that negative out front because the smaller number is actually uh, here in the front. Number 9, uh, 11 minus 6 is 5, and 6 minus 11 is negative 5. Okay? So that was a really good ton of problems basically dealing with our, our first little case, our first couple of cases. And we'll let's do a few more in that same exact in that same exact type of problem. What if I had um, uh, actually this is a slightly different kind of problem, case number two. So what if we had negative two minus four? We're starting with a negative, we're subtracting even more from it, so we're gonna get more negative. So two plus four gives me six, and we have to stick a negative out front. So this is gonna be more negative because we're starting negative and we're taking more away. All right. Now what if we have negative 3 minus 5? Same thing. We're starting at negative 3, we're taking 5 away, so this is going to be negative 8. We're adding these numbers and we're sticking a negative out front. For 13, what if I had negative 8 minus 1? It's going to be negative 9 because we're basically adding these numbers and sticking a negative out front because we're sliding farther to the left along the number line. What if we had for 14, what if we had negative 5 minus 6? Well, it's the same thing. We're going to have 11, but we have to stick a negative out because we're going that direction. 15 is negative 1 minus 15. So it's the same thing. We add these guys together, we stick a negative out front, so negative 16. Problem number 16, negative 8 minus 10. So it's the same thing. We're starting negative and we're taking more away, so it's going to be 18 uh, and a negative sign out front. So that's a good chunk of problems. Let's keep working some more. So let's go ahead and draw a little line here between them and switch colors just to liven the board up a little bit. What if we have a different case for 17? What if we have 1 minus a negative 2? 1 minus a negative 2. Let's see if I can use some different colors here to help us. <clears throat> well, because we have subtracting a negative sign, we're basically going to add the opposite. So this is going to be 1 plus 2, because you have a plus now, and that's going to equal 3, positive 3. Positive 3. Now, let's say for number 18, we have 1 minus a negative 5. 1 minus negative 5. So we have subtracting a negative, so we add the opposite. And so what we're going to have is 1 plus 5, because this is now plus, and that's equal to 6. Okay, and 19. Let's say we have 6 minus a negative 9. So we have subtracting a negative, we'll add the opposite. And so this is going to be 6 plus 9, and now that's going to be 15. All right, so let's say we have 2 minus negative 2. Again, we have subtracting a negative, so we add the opposite, <coughs> and we'll have 2 plus 2 is 4. 
Okay, now what if we had 21? 7 minus a negative 3. So we will add the opposite because we have those negatives together. And it will be 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So that's sort of our you know, other case that we had. Uh, and let's just work a few more where the first number is negative. There's nothing magical about these. I'm just trying to cover all the cases so you see a bunch of problems of all types. Negative 1 minus negative 2. It doesn't matter if this first number is negative. You handle it the same. These negatives are right next to each other, so I can add the opposite. And so I'm going to have negative 1, because of this negative 1, plus 2, because this becomes a plus. Now you have to think, okay, how do I add these integers? Negative 1 plus 2. Well, they're different signs, so thinking back to the last section, we have to subtract them. 2 minus 1 is 1, and the sign is going to come from the larger absolute value, so he stays positive. So you're going to have a positive 1 there. All right, actually, this was problem number 22. So 23, let's say, is negative 7 minus negative 6. And so same thing, we have the two negatives together, we have to add the opposite. And so what I'm going to have is negative 7 from this, plus, because this is now plus, 6. And negative 7 plus 6, you have to think about, uh, you have to think about this in terms of you're adding two opposite signs. So you always end up subtracting in that case, and the answer is going to be 1, but the sign is going to come from the larger absolute value, so it's going to be negative 1. 24 is negative 9 minus negative 5. I'm going to add the opposite here, because those are right next to each other, and you're going to have negative 9 plus 5. And adding these guys together, you have opposite signs, so we're going to end up subtracting. 9 minus 5 gives us 4, and the sign comes from the larger absolute value, so we have negative 4 there. All right, and then 25. Let's say we have negative 9 minus negative 3, right? And so we're going to add the opposite there, to the two negatives. Negative 9 plus 3 is what we're going to have left over. And then you have to do that subtraction, and then, or that addition of, of numbers, we're going to subtract these. So 9 minus 3 gives us 6. The sign comes from the larger absolute value. And finally, last problem of this type, problem 26, negative 11 minus negative 15. Same thing, add the opposite. And then we're going to go ahead and change this around. We'll have negative 11 plus 15. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to end up adding these, but because one of them is negative, we'll subtract them. 15 minus 11 is 4, and the sign comes from the larger absolute value, so it stays at 4. Now, you have to forgive me for doing so many problems <clears throat> of this type. It's just because you really have to master it. I mean, there's no other way to say it. You have to get this. Because if you don't, you're just going to be confused. And if you feel like you kind of get it now, do yourself a favor and play this section again and practice these problems. And do as many times, it doesn't matter if you've seen them before, do it as many times as it takes so that you can finally get these right. Because even if you think you're cheating a little bit because you've seen them before, it's going to help you.